When I found out that it was impossible to pursue what I wanted to do after high school, I became depressed. I couldn't get a driver's license, couldn't get a bank account. Like, I was, like, stuck. The way I finally got out of that depression was I started creating stencils on cereal boxes. I literally stole my brother's, like, X-Acto blade, and I bought, like, a $30 canvas, and I actually sold that, like, on Etsy. My name is Sarah Sandoval, and I'm a spray paint stencil artist. I always knew I wanted to do art for a living. In high school, I went to go um, check out Cal Arts and fell in love with it. I decided, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do animation. I ended up finding out that I was undocumented. Uh, DACA wasn't in place um, until 2012, and I graduated in 2010. So that kind of canceled all, all my plans after high school. The way I got into street art was I watched a documentary. I ended up Googling more of, about street art, watched a couple videos on YouTube and how to create multi-layer stencils. And from there, that's when I started creating like, my style. It's really hard for me to stick to one style. Doing the same thing over and over again, I, I get too bored and I have to like switch it up. I've used markers, brushes, one-layer stencils, multi-layer stencils, doodling, murals, illustrations, done filming, YouTube. I've even tattooed myself. <laughs> so the first step, I'm gonna be cutting out all these individual islands. This one is almost completely cut out, so it ends up looking like this. Each section has its own different colors, so I have, it's, it's really hard to explain and you really have to just see it to kind of understand it. The act of cutting out stencils feels very meditating to me. Just sit there and listen to music and I just feel like I zone out completely. Spray painting it and seeing it come to life is like one of my favorite parts. I never wanted to show my feelings on pieces because like my art was usually a place to escape all that stuff like to escape like being undocumented being gay or being a woman and it wasn't until the last four or five years i started feeling like i needed to speak up so i've been working on a series dedicated to essential migrant workers the people who pick the fruit and people who are struggling just to be their family and make sure that they're safe as well. Every month it was like, okay, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna be able to feed myself, feed my dog, and be able to pay rent? I never had a safety net. It's either this or nothing. Like, there is no plan B, there's only plan A. I was gonna do anything I can to, like, be able to make it. The moment I moved down here, one video just, like, went viral. So I did a, a piece with a famous rapper on it. The, the rapper himself posted my video on his Instagram. That day, my phone was just nonstop ringing. Like emails, messages from everybody asking like, I wanna buy this piece or I wanna buy a print. And I was so overwhelmed and didn't know how to fill all these orders for everyone. A company reached out to me and decided to make the prints for me and sell it on their website. But I was sharing their URL to all my followers and that's when I realized like, yeah, that's, I don't like that. I need my followers to go to one website that will lead them to all the other different websites. I think what I love the most is just how easy it is. <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy, but it's just like so simple. And I like with GoDaddy, I had so much control over every little thing. As I met all these different artists, they started asking me like, hey, I have this mural. Would you like to learn how to like paint in a bigger scale and uh, get paid for that? I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> the first few murals, it was really scary, just like being on a lift or on a tall ladder, cutting stencils like right on the wall and just creating a huge piece I've never done before. And the more I did it, the more I like went with like friends and helped them out with their murals. I got so busy that I ended up realizing it, it's already been like four months that I was there without even looking for another job. And that's when I started realizing like, yeah, I, I think I can do this full time. <laughs> 
my advice is just to keep going, just keep producing, keep making connections and just have fun with it. And don't feel like you need to create something to please other people. Just create what you want to create. <laughs>